crazy. I'm just gonna pop a photo on screen of what this bed looked like, I think, exactly a month ago. Oh my god, I think these are tiny carrots. That's really exciting for me, not for any of you. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a new vlog. My hair is a little bit wild today, but I'm kind of loving it. I braided it just in like my normal French braid overnight, but it took really well sometimes my hair you can actually tell there's a bit that's like this is what it normally looks like when it comes out of a braid but this is like what the other half of it came out like and i love it i need to figure out how to do this with my ghds or with like a wand i'm not sure i'm not using the mermaid waver though that is like i'm promising myself like i'm only using ghds from now on because my hair has always been its best when i've only used ghd stylers but yeah i'm really liking it this is it's just such a cute little way when i had my hair cut last which was like september i had like just a couple of layers i think you can see put in because my hair is so thick and at the time i was like oh, are you sure like maybe we'll just keep it really thick and i'm so grateful now that we did that because it just would be like a full block right now like i would have proper triangle head it is a lovely day today i've just been outside watering my veggies because it hasn't rained in a really long time like properly rained and my garden was looking very very sad so i've had to like be on top of the watering the veggies are being absolutely outrageous and i need to get out there this weekend and like really arrange them really should have had more veg beds put in the garden but i didn't want it to be a garden of veg beds <laughs> because it's not very big i have also started filling the windowsill you can just see a slight sneak peek i've started my indoor growing of tomatoes what else do i have there tomatoes cucumber basically all the salad that i will need for the summer even though i won't produce enough to feed me all summer and then some flowers as well for the garden that like will bloom next year i think yeah my life is really boring at the moment like they've opened up the restrictions in the uk and i'm still home everything is very like calm and boring around here that is my only life update that i have is that everything is like nice and calm and boring and i literally have nothing to tell you guys a lot of walks a lot of skincare just like all the good stuff you know So I've just changed my outfit because I think I'm going to try and film a reel today. I'm wearing a blue pinstripe cotton shirt from Zara. This is just so lovely. The fact that it's cotton just makes it feel really soft, but it's also going to be really breathable as well. And I feel like even if I didn't want to wear this as like a normal shirt, it would make like when I want to retire it, it would make a great bed shirt. I used to have a pink and white striped one like this from H&M and it was just the dream to sleep in. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This actually didn't make it into my last video. If you haven't seen that, I will link it somewhere up there nearly a decade on youtube still can't tell you what side the little video cards appear also can we take a moment for these flowers they are so cute i love tulips in particular for like how simple they are but also for the range of colors they come in this is just giving me so much life it's bringing me joy and if anyone's wondering i did in fact decide to keep both bags and i loved how many of you supported that decision so thank you very much i really feel like in that moment in the comments i knew i found my people i also have a few new bits that, that arrived this week and i'm really excited to show them to you i think i'll show them to you tomorrow because i'm not sure if i'll get the chance today but this shirt is just well t-shirt is just unreal it's so lovely it's a proper linen-y t-shirt i'm just obsessed with it my favorite t-shirts of all time was from zara i think back in like 2011 2010 something like that you can see me wearing it in like proper old school videos there's like a gray v-neck that i always used to wear and it was linen and i loved it so much until one day it was sadly too small for me and i just thought it'll never fit me ever again so i gave it away and i'm so i've always been so sad about that because i feel like now it probably would fit me but then i saw those on h&m and i was like oh, these are my dream t-shirts i know i will get so much wear out of them i know i'll love them they're a flattering fit so excited so i'll do a full try on of like my whole order tomorrow i put a little bit on instagram but not the whole thing because there was a fair bit of stuff and i get 30 seconds for a reel also I'm enjoying my new book. I feel like every vlog just needs a book in it. Every vlog has a new book in it. That's how that's how quickly I go through books. But this is Final Cut by S.J. Watson. It does creep me out a little bit. Like I prefer to read this if Ryan is staying rather than if I'm on my own. I get a bit freaked out. Like always makes me feel a bit weird reading this before I go to bed. Anyway, I need to stop chatting and I need to film this reel. And then I need to go to the shops because you're gonna need some food. I feel like I never have food in my fridge in the vlogs and it's because I don't. I don't know why, I don't know how this happens. I'm just not an organized human being, but I wanna go out and get some really healthy like salad-y bits and I want to make like a vegan taco salad. So that is another thing I need to do. And then I'm also going to try and squeeze in a little pre-YouTube upload walk because I need to get out. I'm actually driving myself crazy. Yeah. 
Diego little one. Bon appetit. Good evening everybody. It has been a day. I have not had the best day today. It's all been wrapped up with the cherry on the top of the cake of my laptop turning itself off and it hasn't come back here. This is actually the second time it's happened. I'm hoping it does come back. Literally just using it, clicked a button to go onto YouTube and the whole thing died. So not much else to report with my day other than I worked and I went for a walk, which I forgot to vlog. But I'm gonna make myself some tacos for dinner and just chill. I'm gonna have a little like skincare TLC moment this evening as well and just like be zen. Just reset, refresh, like we don't even have to wait for a new day. Work has finished and we're gonna turn things around. So I'm gonna be making some vegan tacos. I have plant-based meat-free mints, taco seasoning, taco shells, and then literally the most monumental amount of like salad and stuff, a ton of coriander. That's basically all you need. It's quite simple really, apart from like adding this, like it's all really basic ingredients. You don't really have to do a lot. I've also got this thing, which I'm loving. It's got this little bit that you like pull and I'm trying not to like let this ping off and like hit me in the face. But it like basically slices up all of your salad and it's amazing. So I'm gonna use that because that will save my eyeballs from the red onion. It's so great. And then I might add some cheese. We'll see. are my meat-free, well, they're vegan tacos. They actually look really yummy today. I think I've done a decent job with this. It's literally just meat-free, mince, the taco seasoning, tomatoes, and then diced red pepper and red onion. And then we've got like a slaw kind of salad, cabbage, carrot, lettuce, and then we've got some lime and coriander rice, which is my favorite rice. I use this stuff, but they all pretty much taste the same. This is just cheaper, or you can make your own. But anyway, then we have guac, which is literally two tiny avocados. Normally I would just use one. And then garlic, salt, pepper, you just season it to your taste. And then we've got tomatoes in there as well. And then I've just got some coriander. Those are my meat-free tacos. They're so easy to make and really, really quick. My camera only actually timed out twice whilst filming this, so that quick. Your girl is tired. I feel like my makeup is slowly sliding off of my face. It's definitely like cuddle up with a book and the dog in bed kind of evening, but I'm going to bleach my face and then on the areas that I have not bleached my face, follow it up with the Charlotte Tilbury. I always forget the name of this mask, Super Radiance Resurfacing Facial Mask. Very long name in my defense. And it's like half faint, way past my bedtime. I love this. This is so good. But yeah, it's really helping with these areas here and up here like the scarring is a lot less visible by this time of day it would normally be like have, my makeup would have worn away and it would be very visible it also makes the texture of my skin incredible which is why i've been loving it i use it once a week normally because i retinol one of the other days a week and all of the days kind of like either side i use like a acne treatment but yeah i'm looking forward to using that i feel like i'm just on the last leg of like getting rid of all of this scarring that's been going on for so long on my face i just have one new spot here which i think is going it's not going to be a full-on big giant new friend on my face which i'm really happy about let's do this let's get rid of the last little bits of scarring on my face i'll be so happy when they're gone
people your pizza. This is why my face mask has been left on for five minutes longer than it should. You get the angles? Yeah, we're getting the angles. And I can already feel it's like really helped with this little spot here, which looks like a spot, but it's actually super flat. It's just like marked a little bit. Got this scar, which hopefully will have budged a little bit more by tomorrow morning, because that one's a real pain in the bum. And then this spot, which I'm just kind of trying not to touch because I feel like I may have aggravated it slightly. But yeah, that's tonight's skincare TLC. But anyway, now I am going to snuggle up in bed with my book and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, I just wanted to come on here before I put some SPF on my face because it dulls my scarring slightly. So this is what I'm looking like the next morning. I feel like that is definitely a lot smaller and here as well. Forehead's still not budging. But yeah, it's looking good. It feels so smooth. Anyway. looking forward to this so much. Someone is waiting for her breakfast with her little bunny. Do you want some breakfast? Breakfast. Oh, look at those ears go. <laughs> this is so exciting. This is so cool. I think Ryan's gonna love this tote bag. It would look very cool in his house. I'm gonna get this in the fridge and we will make it together later. ready for the day i'm so happy with how my skin is looking at the moment this is a very big jump from where we were i'll put a picture in the date on the screen at least 10 9 10 months ago that is where we were at and uh, as you will have seen this morning and now we are just we've come on leaps and bounds and i'm very happy i've popped some tan on this morning so i'm wearing a very loose kind of black all black outfit combo i actually wore this at the end of my last vlog real outfit repeater but i'm really obsessed with this top i got this last summer from h&m and i'm just loving them at the moment because they're nice and thick they keep you like a little bit warm but they're like loose so comfy like i can just wear them without a bra and then i've got my river island trousers which are petite trousers believe it or not but i definitely had to take them up sadly i don't think these are available anymore but they are just so lovely so floaty so loose so it's just perfect for having pots and tan on i'm actually gonna make myself a smoothie now because i'm kind of feeling a little bit peckish this morning so i'm gonna make myself a nice like full thick smoothie like something that's actually gonna fill me up not like you know when people just go oh i'm putting some berries in some water i'm like Phew. That's a fruit juice, that's a fruit juice. I'm actually gonna experiment with a new recipe because there's one that was on my blog from years ago that I kind of want to have a go at again and I vaguely know it, it's in the depths of my brain so I'm not gonna look at my blog. The throwbacks are wild when I look at my blog so I don't look at it very often. I was actually watching a video last night from this time, almost this time last year, like a month off, it was last May I believe, like end of May. I swear, I am a different person every six months, like even down to like personality. I think I spent like predominantly the first like five years of my twenties being like the most consistent, oh that light is nice. 
Love it when the sun comes out. Yeah, anyway, consistent person for like the first five years of my 20s. So little growth that I feel like the past three, four years have just been like, it's been longer than that. The later half of my 20s has just been like change, 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 like really accelerated personal growth. So wild to me. Has that happened to anyone else? I would love to know if you feel the same. I spoke to Ryan and we're different enough that like life is never boring, but we're very, very similar in the way we are. And he was like, I feel the exact same. And I was like, is this normal? Am I normal? Is there something wrong with me? Do you need to go outside? But anyway, that's a weird little tangent, but I really wanted to know if any of you feel that way and have experienced that. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to make a mint avocado smoothie. I made it years ago and it was delish. And I actually have in the garden some, it's like contained, don't panic. I have some mint growing, but it's chocolate mint. So I really want to try that and see how that tastes. I'm hoping it's going to be good. smoothie verdict it's good i do need to just adapt the recipe ever so slightly because i feel like it needs something a little bit sweeter to it i added in a banana in the end because it did need that sweetness but i didn't want to add anything unhealthy into it and i didn't have any honey or like agave syrup or anything like that but you could definitely add that i think i used to add a lot of honey to my smoothies last summer so that is something that i'll definitely do but i didn't want to like add anything like too unhealthy to it like a syrup but if you don't like sweet smoothies you don't need to add the banana and you will love this as it is i just think with the taste you really get that hint of mint chocolate but it's not particularly sweet and i think for me that then feels wrong to my taste buds but to other people it might be like perfect the banana basically makes it feel like a nice treat whilst getting like a lot of what your body needs into a smoothie and i think that's great i have to say i really liked the addition of chocolate mint you could just use normal mint whatever you have basically it's also helping me to use up the bag of frozen avocado i bought at the start of lockdown because i was convinced that we weren't going to be able to get our hands on avocados and we were always able to get our hands on avocados i don't know what i was thinking what's your like stupidest panic thing that you did at the start of covid or like mid covid like whenever there's been a kind of like new lockdown what's like the stupidest thing you've stocked up on that you just haven't needed let me know okay getting ready to show you guys some h&m bits i thought i'd show you this outfit first in case you didn't see it properly earlier with the janky filming that i was doing but also if you didn't see it in my last vlog this is what the trousers and top look like and i just love them i love how slouchy it is but it's really like chic at the same time and i've literally just paired it with this astrid and Mew chain which i am obsessed with this collection i love it so much it's a really nice like chunky but minimal necklace like i have a lot of chunky ones that sit a lot higher up but this is lovely for if i've got a lower neckline and i just don't want to be as like statement but i still want to add a little bit of something okay first up these t-shirts i love them they are the best like fit i mean i did size up in this actually so they are i would still love them i'm pretty sure if i got this in a size small but i went for a medium so as you can see it is very oversized now i did that purely because i want them to always fit because these are like forever t-shirts they are just that perfect material like honestly my old one my old gray one i got so much wear out of and i loved so much so i know that this is like one of those just key items to have in my wardrobe i've paired it with my white asos trousers which i love so much i'm gonna flick backwards and forwards through the various different colors i got them all in the same size it will look exactly the same just different tones but this is my favorite i think just because it's this beautiful like off-whitey nude pink kind of tone it's just got a touch of pink and i think that is really beautiful and really subtle and then there's also the gray and the tan tone as well it's not tan it's a beige what am i saying like a beige tone next up we have this linen shirt which i love so much it's definitely like a forever 
summer piece it's so beautiful it's really gorgeous with a pair of white trousers but would also look beautiful with jeans black trousers literally anything you have in your wardrobe if you work in like an office environment i know some people are like starting to go back no one in my world has yet it's really weird <laughs> like nothing has changed i know some people are starting to go back this would be such a lovely summer shirt and you can obviously like have it buttoned up higher if you want or have it like a little bit open like whatever is most appropriate and fitting for you but yeah it's just absolutely gorgeous the lighting is going a bit crazy right now let me adjust it's just the most beautiful tone and the texture is gorgeous oh just absolutely stunning i can't remember what size i got this in yeah we have got a size small and i'd say it's like true to size it's not like regular fit it's that kind of like relaxed slouchy fit if that makes sense but i definitely think you could just get the size that you are i don't think there's any need to size up there's definitely you know a decent amount of excess room in the small which i think is great i know i own a lot of shirts it's become so apparent to me throughout all of the wardrobe clear outs that they're just such a staple piece in my wardrobe but also in hindsight looking back over the past like decade of my style recently i've been able to really identify what i think actually genuinely suits me and what I always kind of go back to and shirts and trousers have been it and when I look back they're never the outfits that I'm like oh hmm. I always am like yeah that looked really good on me so that's my justification for another shirt but yeah I just love a linen shirt I think they're so timeless so yeah anyway moving on this next piece I'm really sad about it's like a linen jumpsuit which is really gorgeous but it is a little bit long which wasn't really the issue because me and Wonderweb are best mates now so i was like i can deal with that that's no problem what i'm sad about is <laughs> this kind of like extra space that i have on the chest of the jumpsuit it's a little bit too gapy i just don't think it's particularly flattering i put this on my instagram and a lot of people said could you not go down a size but i'm sure you can see that i've not got a lot of excess material here whereas i have a lot of excess material here so if i were to go down a size i don't think my bum would allow the jumpsuit over it so it's fine it's going back next we have this dress which i love it's really simple but really pretty at the same time it's got this lovely texture to it which i just think is so unique i've not seen anything like this like around at the moment it's got a tie back which is really cute i have got myself into a bit of a tangle with it because i was basically just trying to tie myself into it so this isn't my best work by any means but it's very very cute i really like it what do we think because this really divided opinions on instagram there were a lot of people that were like no and i was like why are we saying no to this this is cute is it but then i was like really questioning it because <laughs> i was just expecting everyone to like this so i'd love to know if you don't like this why you don't like it my only gripe is that you can kind of see the pockets and i don't think pockets were entirely necessary with this dress i'll take them or leave them really with certain things and i think dresses like this are one of them i feel like they just add more like bulk than is necessary i'd love to hear your thoughts i do think it's very cute they did a lot of dresses like this last year and i think it's a nice update on those dresses but side note actually there is one of my favorite dresses which i will insert a cutaway of which has come back and i'm so happy about that i love it when brands do the same thing year on year honestly i wish they would do it more like every year year in year out bring like some of the most beautiful pieces that you did last year that everyone loved back because i just think it's just lovely when that happens and finally the skirt for me was a straight up no this is listed on the website people as cream cream it might not show up on camera i'm not sure but to me this is not a cream this is like an ecru white almost pink tone like there's like a hint it's like oyster you know there's that paint color look it's a dulux paint maybe it's called oyster pink and it's like a whitey pink and i'm very sad about that because basically i wanted to replace my cream midi skirt because it is very very loose around the waist and i was like oh they do a cream midi skirt on h&m amazing maybe i'll pick that up Mm -mm. so sadly this is not the one for me lots of people asked why i wasn't just going to keep it anyway but i just it's not love it's not love even my zara one being too big for me i actually think the fit and the silhouette of it is slightly nicer do let me know which were your favorite and which items you think i should keep and return everything as always with like sizing and stuff like that will be in the info box for you guys look who's back in the building missed you and he's brought his toolkit this is going on a wall tomorrow i'm not telling you which wall yet and then what else are we doing oh we're putting the curtains up friends having a beer i am going to crack out the as the six pound rose that i am loving at the moment highly recommend it is such a like pale rose i mean it's six quid you really can't go wrong
Cheers. Cheers. That was really like unsatisfying, that clink. Oh, actually, yeah. yeah, let's go again. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I am very excited for this. The chips are in the oven. We are ready to go. Waiting for your dinner. If you like, I will make your raw food look like a burger. Yeah, I might even put some treats on it to make it look like pickles. What do you think about that? Yes, please. Yeah. Honestly, I have been waiting all week for this. When did I book this? Like, ordered it. I feel like it was like the start of the week. I've just been looking forward to it so much. Like, even the wine yesterday. Normally, I'd have a glass of wine while sure at football. And I was like, I'm saving it. had the most lovely weekend our honest burgers on friday were so so yummy i have to say i liked the patty and bun ones more because they came with vegan bacon but i really appreciated that literally everything in the honest burger packaging was like fully compostable recyclable all of that but even without the vegan bacon it was delicious i've already started the next vlog so i will see you guys again on thursday love you bye